Father God, we thank you. That you are God and besides you there is no other. Yes. Thank you, God, that you can't fail. Yes. Thank you, God, that you look, you sit at high and you look at down low. Yes. Thank you, God, that you appoint up and you take back down. Yes. Thank you, Father God, that we can do nothing without you. We trust in you today, Father God. We give you all praise and we give you all glory. Firstly, God, we thank you for the sweet hour of prayer. Because God, you said men are always to pray. And so God, we come calling on your name to Today. Yes. Only you can save us today. Only you can heal us today. Only you can forgive us today. So we bless your name today in the mighty name of Jesus. And so God, we lift up our leaders today. Whether they are local government, Father God. Whether they are big government. We lift them up to you today, Father God. We lift them our Governor General. Oh, bless his office today. Oh God, may he call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As head of state of this country. May he be Begin to call on the name of Jesus. Oh, we lift up our Prime Minister today. Oh God, may He call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Him, but God, if He put His trust in You, He can never fail. Oh God, we lift up the cabinet before You. Every minister, Father God, give them the wisdom, give them the knowledge, give them the strength they need yes. to run this country. Thank you, Jesus. Help them to take their trust out of themselves. Take Take the trust out of man. Yes. Take the trust in you. Yes. Because you cannot fail. We pray for our leader of our opposition today. We pray for healing, deliverance, restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for all those that sit in parliament today. Yes. Oh God, may they realize that only what's done for Christ is going to last. Help them yes. To take the trust in you. Hallelujah. Because only you, hallelujah, is able to deliver the heart. Yes. So, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that our leaders are now. I'm calling on your name. Oh, God, before this pandemic, men were going their own way, but we hear the prime minister calling your name. We hear ministers calling your name. Yes. We hear the government people calling your name. We hear the island administrators calling on your name. And Father God, that's what you want us to do. Yes. We're calling on your name today. And even today, as we're on this dock in Hatchet Bay, we're calling on your name. Yes. As they're on the dock in Governor's Harbor, they're calling on your name. As they're on the dock in the Barry Islands, and on the dock in Andrus, and on the dock in Exuma, yes. and on the all around this country, we're calling on your name. Jesus! Thank you, Lord. We need you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We need you more today than we need you yesterday. God, come with all your quickening power. Come with all your healing power. Yes. Come with all your restoring power. Yes. Come with all your saving power. And you are our land today. You are our leaders today. And those that don't know you in the pardon of their sins, may they say, Jesus. Yes. Before I perish. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this prayer. Thank you for victory. Yes. Thank you for praying our leaders. Thank you that this pandemic will be a revival in Parliament, revival on Government Hill, revival on the local government all over this country. Our political leaders have become spiritual leaders. Thank in you, Lord. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord God, that it shall go forth and there shall be a performance of the things spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. And so Pastor, Clar Pastor Julian Newbold will come even now and he's going to pray for the seven mountains of influence and for even the 